Samuel, a retired forest ranger, ventured deep into the jungle's green labyrinth in search of tranquility and beauty. Sunlight filtered through the winding path, and the air buzzed with the melodies of chirping birds and humming insects like a hidden orchestra. But the serene symphony abruptly halted with a terrifying growl from the bushes, a massive, grumpy bear emerged, eyeing Samuel with predatory intent. Samuel's heart pounded. Despite his extensive experience in the wild, he knew this situation was dire. He harnessed his fear, trying to make himself appear larger by spreading his arms wide and yelling loudly and aggressively to scare the bear away. However, the bear was undeterred. It growled even more menacingly and took slow, heavy steps closer. Samuel panicked. Should he fight or flee, confronting this giant bear felt like a battle with death itself. He chose to run. Fast, he darted off the path, weaving through branches like a ghost. He breathed heavily as the bear roared behind him, pursuing him like a relentless hunter. His muscles ached, but fear propelled him forward. Just as the bear's shadow nearly engulfed him, Samuel summoned all his remaining strength and leaped out of reach. Samuel finally burst through his door, heart thumping like a drum. His house sat right next to the jungle, but tonight it felt like a safe castle. Exhausted, he flopped into bed, yet sleep wouldn't come. The bear's scary growls echoed in his mind. Samuel heard the bear's loud growls all the way from his house in the jungle. The growling didn't stop, and it worried him. Samuel knew a lot about wildlife and thought the bear might be in trouble. He decided to go into the jungle, believing that when animals act strange, it usually means something is wrong with them. The next morning, Samuel ventured into the jungle, prepared for whatever he might encounter. He grabbed a can of bear spray and a small knife, just in case he needed to defend himself. As he made his way through the dense foliage, he listened intently for any signs of danger. Suddenly, he heard a growling sound, but it was different this time, not as loud or aggressive as before. Samuel cautiously approached the source of the noise, taking each step with care. As he drew closer, he spotted a bear, its weary form emitting exhausted growls. A few steps away, a horrifying scene unfolded. A tiny bear cub was wrapped tightly in a cruel web of barbed wire, its struggles seeming to have ceased, its small body barely moving. Samuel's heart sank. Was the cub even breathing? The urge to flee screamed at him, but he couldn't abandon the helpless creature. With a deep breath, he forced himself forward, ready for any danger that might await. With trembling hands and a heavy heart, he took a tentative step forward ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As Samuel got nearer to the exhausted mother bear and her cub, he saw how tired she looked. She seemed less fierce and more tired now. When he got even closer, Samuel felt sad seeing the wounds on her body, which showed how hard she had tried to help her cub out of the sharp barbed wire. With strong determination, Samuel took out his knife, aiming to cut through the tough steel and rescue the trapped cub. But as he tried cutting the wire, he saw it was too strong. The wire didn't budge, getting tighter each time he tried. Samuel shifted his focus to stretching the wire, hoping to create enough slack to release the trapped cub. However, his efforts made things worse, the wire tightened even more, and the poor cub cried out in pain. The mother bear's patience reached its limit. With a thunderous roar, she charged toward Samuel. Samuel quickly moved to a safer spot, his heart racing as he realized how serious things were. He realized he couldn't handle the situation alone. With a trembling hand, he reached for his phone and called the wildlife rescue team. The minutes stretched like eternity as he waited for their arrival, his heart pounding with anxiety. Finally, the sound of approaching footsteps broke the silence, and Samuel breathed a sigh of relief as the rescue team emerged from the dense foliage. Their arrival heralded a new set of challenges. The rescue team looked around and saw that the mother bear was very protective and dangerous. They heard the cub crying loudly and knew they had to act quickly to avoid making the mother bear angrier. With calm and deliberate movements, they meticulously readied the tranquilizer dart, ensuring every step was precise and accurate. They aimed the dart with unwavering focus and released it. With one shot, the mother bear fell asleep, her big body resting on the ground. The team turned their attention to the task at hand. Carefully, they approached the trapped cub their movements slow and deliberate to avoid startling the fragile creature. With each moment, it felt like things were getting more tense, not knowing what would happen to the trapped cub. Finally, after what seemed like a very long time, they got rid of the last pointy bit, and the cub was set free. The rescue team carefully loaded both the bear cub 
and its mother into their vehicle and rushed them to the vet hospital. Samuel felt worried, wondering if they would make it. He visited the hospital often, watching as the doctors tended to the mother bear's injuries. Thankfully, the cub recovered quickly, bringing a glimmer of hope to Samuel's heart. Despite the cub's improvement, the mother bear remained in critical condition due to severe blood loss. It had been a week, and there was still no positive response from the doctor. The doctor warned Samuel not to get his hopes up too much, as the mother bear's situation was very serious. Days went by with no improvement, and Samuel felt worried. To keep the bear cub occupied and comforted, Samuel took care of him personally. He fed him food and milk and made sure he had plenty to play with, so he wouldn't feel lonely or miss his mother too much. As days passed, the bond between Samuel and the bear cub grew stronger. The cub recognized Samuel's scent and would often play and cuddle with him. After days of anxious waiting, one day Samuel received a phone call from the doctor. With trembling hands, he listened as the doctor shared the unexpected news. Tears streamed down Samuel's cheeks. Without wasting a moment, he rushed to the rescue center to see the mama bear for himself. With this good news, Samuel couldn't stop thanking God as the mama bear was out of danger and would recover in a few days. Standing beside her, Samuel felt a deep sense of gratitude and pride, knowing that his dedication had played a part in saving her life. The vet shared another piece of good news. The mama bear and cub would be ready to go back to the wild soon. Samuel felt happy and sad at the same time. He knew he wouldn't see them again. Kneeling, Samuel gave the cub one last gentle pet. He wouldn't forget the little bear he rescued. As the sun set, Samuel watched the mama bear nudge her cub towards the forest. Then, one day, something unexpected happened. Samuel heard a loud bang at his door. He crept closer, a mix of worry and curiosity filling him. What could be? Slowly, he turned the knob, his heart thumping, what would he find? Imagine his surprise when the door creaked open and there stood a baby bear, eyes bright and curious. Samuel couldn't believe it. How did the cub get there? He sniffed the cub, it smelled like the one he'd met before. Though shocked, Samuel felt a calming sense of familiarity. This little visitor wasn't dangerous. But Samuel worried about the cub's mom. What if she was nearby, fierce and ready to protect? He looked outside and saw the mama bear nearby. She watched calmly, trusting Samuel. The bears weren't a threat. Samuel grabbed food from his kitchen, a yummy treat for both bears. They gobbled it up happily. The cub bounced ahead, excited, with mom following as they went into the trees. Samuel felt lucky. What an amazing day, had made a new friend, a wild bear cub. Samuel's kindness towards animals shows us how important it is to help those in need, whether they're pets or wild creatures. It's essential to help animals with precautions and safety in mind. What an incredible story. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. See you in the next video.